Hi there, I'm with Shankari Esweron. She Now, I met her a long time ago because she's a local food blogger, but she also teaches cooking classes, Indian food. This is a simple curry dish. Mm -hmm. What is the secret ingredient that you're using here? It's cumin. Cumin, then, okay. Yeah, cumin and then dried red it. chilies. Yeah, that's it. And I have here onions, carrots, peas, salt, sugar, and potatoes. The sugar accentuates the cumin in it. Okay. So what we're going to start off with is onions. A lot of onions. Lots of onions. Okay. So this is about one whole red onion. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then what you want is for the onions to get translucent. That takes about five minutes. So let's assume that the onions are translucent sure. for the show. <laughs> okay. Okay. And then once that happens, I add the cumin. So I have many folks tell me that they go to the Indian store mm -hmm. and when they have to buy cumin, yeah. it's a whole bag of cumin. It's like a pound of cumin that they oh, really? buy and then they don't know what to do with it. And so yesterday at Whole Foods, Lynn gave me this bottle, which okay. is cool because then you just have only so much. It's a little bit that you need. And it's, it's in an airtight container, so you have the flavor still. How much are you using there? About a teaspoon and a half okay. of cumin. And once that's in there, and this is a recipe by Madhur Jaffrey, okay. and her book is right here. So what I'm doing tomorrow for the class is I'm featuring all her recipes. And it's great because she's, when she came here to the United States, she didn't know, she knew how to cook, but not much. And so she says it's for the home cook. Oh, good. And somebody who's newly wed, who comes from India, doesn't know how to cook, or for somebody from here. Beginners like me. Yep, so once I add the piece and carrot, I'll just close it with a lid for about five minutes. Okay. So that, you know, the vegetable, the peas and carrot is kind of tender. And then the other ingredient that's interesting is adding scallions right in the end. And you'll see that we're not using red chili powder. Yeah. We're not having turmeric in it. It's a very, very go-to dish when you have, you know, not very many ingredients at home. Okay. And like to say, peas and carrot, you're going to have a frozen baguette in your refrigerator most of the time. Right. And potatoes, of course, you're going to have potatoes at home. So you can make this really easy. And if, say, you don't have onions, just go ahead and do the peas and carrots and then, you know, yeah. the potatoes go right in the end. Then you add the salt and sugar. Oopsie. How much total time are you using here for, like, this dish? Like, How, how much it? it'll take? Yeah. How much time it'll take? It'll take about 12 to 15 minutes from start to finish. Okay. And then right in the end, I'll add the scallions. Okay. And then let it cook for 30 seconds. That's it. That's it. And then it's done. And how you can serve it, I like it over scrambled eggs with bread for breakfast. Oh, that sounds and good. And Mother Jeffrey says it goes great with chicken roast. And I serve it like this. My husband had this for lunch today. Ooh. Just Indian rotis or you can have it even with tortillas and the vegetable. Okay, and Shankri is teaching her class tomorrow, like she said, 6 o'clock tomorrow evening mm -hmm. over at Whole Foods at Arden and Eastern in Sacramento. I know they have one in Roseville. And they have a whole lot of holiday classes And you have another up. class this Saturday, mm -hmm. and they have some space, just a couple more spots left here at East Bay Restaurant Supply. It's holiday gifts from the World Kitchen, also joined by uh, Danny Luzzotti and Carolyn Company, and everybody will get to take home a basket of food. This yep. Saturday, so you want to sign up for that, too. Yay! Lots of classes to take this time of season. All right, back over to you. Thanks Thank so you, much. Tina. Thank you.